It's Farrell with crowd surfing at the biggest event of the year, Salt Lake Comic Con fan experience. Um, there's so much to see and so much to do. Let's take a walk around, talk to some people, and uh, find out what it's all about. Down here at Comic Con, I run into Chris. Chris, what, what have you seen down here you like so far? There are, this is a freak show, and it is awesome. Man, the people watching couldn't be better. So, <laughs> so what's, your, what, what's your favorite thing you've seen here, though? I mean, of everything that you've seen so far, what's the best? Well, the best thing, there's a guy right there with, with a garbage can on his lid, and he says, I am not Shia LaBeouf anymore. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know who Shia LaBeouf is. Shia LaBeouf? I have no idea. Shia LaBeouf was in Indiana Jones. He was in Holes. He was this big actor for a while, and then he kind of fell off the stage a little bit. Alrighty, I am here with the one and only Moses, correct? Actually, it's Gandalf. Oh, I, <laughs> and Gandalf is from? Lord of the Rings. I know I know nothing of Lord of the Rings or anything, so yeah, I, sorry. I... Well. Why, why Gandalf? What's What's... Honestly, my brother came up with the costume, and I just felt like being a tall wizard. Alrighty, I'm here with the Flash, and Spider-Man, and why, why, why Flash? What's his costume? The Bane. thing, Bane, and Spider-Man. Why, why is that? Um, who's the best? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Why, which one of you are the best? Well, I'm the fastest man alive, so it goes without saying, in my opinion. Boring. I freaking crawl on walls, dude. And I have a spidey sense. And oh, I took no. Batman's butt like it was nothing. <laughs> I can't understand you. <laughs> so, I gotta ask you, because I heard you say that you're excited for the cryptozoology, right? Cryptozoology. And what, what exactly is cryptozoology? It sounds like snake oil and... Oh, it, it, it's a great way to watch the freak show, you know? There's great people there, and you get to learn about Bigfoot, you get to learn about Chuka Cabra, or however you say that. <laughs> and then some amazing things. Look, there's Charlotte LaBeouf right there. <laughs> so, what about, so do you, you, but you're a firm believer in Bigfoot, am I correct? A firm believer in Bigfoot, I don't know if that's the case, but it hasn't been proven that it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. It hasn't been proven it does exist. Yeah, so? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I don't mean to tell you your business, but you might want to put some glue right there on your mustache. It's falling off. Yeah, I, I ran out. Perhaps you could summon a spell that would make it stay there. I should probably look into that. <laughs> All righty, well, I thought it was Moses it's Gandalf. Thank you for talking with me. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're not supposed to understand me. You're not supposed to fear. We, we've had these arguments many a time, trust me. It just goes in loops. But we all know it's the Flash, so. Well, Spider-Man, for sure. Spider-Man. So is it, is it the Flash or Spider-Man or, or Bane? The Flash. Well, obviously it's Bane. See, obviously. I'm the fastest man alive. They don't have the anything man alive yeah, but they for them. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's, my, here's my take on Bigfoot. They can send a man to the, to, the, to the moon and put a man in the bottom of the sea, but they can't find an eight-foot-tall hairy creature walking around the woods in Washington. Have you ever played hide-and-go-seek with my six-year-old daughter? NASA couldn't find her. <laughs> so Bigfoot had a lot of, of practice, let's just say. Oh. And so... I, Look, this guy, this guy has the best outfit here. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. I, I still don't know who it is. Not he, do, he doesn't know who Shiloh LaBeouf is. That's not who that is. Oh, have you seen Transformers? I think. Okay. Well, it's his comic con. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm here with the soldier. And I, I saw you standing here with your hand like that. What, 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 what were you doing? The high five. So, the soldier, what is that from? Team Fortress 2. Specifically, the red team. And what exactly do you do in Team Fortress 2? I shoot rockets with my rocket launcher. 
shoot rockets. What are you shooting the rockets at? Looting. <laughs> of course. How did I not see that coming? <laughs> In my opinion, being fast always isn't the best. I mean, if you're on vacation, you don't want it to zoom by. You want to hang out and chill. Exactly. It's true, but hey, how do you get to your vacation? You don't want to spend 15 hours on a plane. You just go to Paris right now. I can but, do more traveling than anybody else. <laughs> okay, here we go. Paris! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, thanks. I appreciate your time. Have a good one. Thank Bye. you. So, aside from Shia LaBeouf, I want to find the comic book guy from The Simpsons. I'm looking for him. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I am looking for him, and I know he's here. He's got to be here. <laughs> he's got to be. Yeah. I haven't seen him yet, though. I well, there's people like him around here, and you can like smell him from here. <laughs> I'm telling you what, man. <laughs> but freak show, great thing to see, and it's way fun. So, are you gonna come back next time we have Comic Con? Coming back. Yes, the people watching cannot be better, even with Shia LaBeouf here. <laughs> Not it's not Shia LaBeouf. Oh, I'm not Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you not like the blue team? Because they are trying to push a bomb into my base. Aren't you guys trying to push a bomb into theirs? No, I am trying to stop them from pushing a bomb into our base. Oh. So, you guys, so you guys are the nice guys, are the good guys? Yes. Yeah. You, you took a minute to answer like you were unsure of that. Yes. <laughs> All righty, man. Well, hey, I appreciate you talking with me. High five. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm kind of ignorant when it comes to comic books and comic book characters, but we do have a friend, Blaine. He knows all about that stuff. Let's go see what he can find. Uh, here we are at the Salt Lake City uh, Comic Con. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Tom Rockwell. I'm the writer and director of Spirit Squad. I'm Caitlin Lanzala. I'm one of the actresses in the film. Okay, so you're here uh, promoting your film. Tell me a little bit about your film. What was it called? Spirit Squad. Okay, tell me a little bit about your movie. Spirit Squad is a Grindhouse-style movie about crime-fighting cheerleaders. It's essentially a female superhero movie. Here we are with, what's your name? Uh, Indiana Jones. Wow, Indy, what brings you to Salt Lake City to the Comic-Con? Well, you know, I got a tip that some Nazis are going to be stealing some very serious artifacts just across the street from here. And so many people recognize me, though. I decided to stop by, talk to everybody. I got a couple of hours to spare, but I might have to leave here soon. Make sure I save it. Hello, Phantom. Hello. How are things doing? Pretty good. So what brings you from the jungle to the convention? I love Comic-Con. It's a lot of fun. It's got just about everything you can want over here. Fantastic. So have you come across any villains that you've had to punch in the face since you've been here? No, I not really. Quite yet, anyway. Why did you choose uh, cheerleaders? What, what's the significance of that? What, that seems a little bit different than the way other things, uh, other films that I've seen these days. <laughs> well, it's what we call high concept. It's an original concept. All you have to do is tell people crime fighting cheerleaders, and they instantly get it. They can picture it in their head. So that's high concept, and and that really helps us out. But another big part of it is that it's female empowerment. So it's female superheroes. But cheerleaders in general, I mean, really what they do is boost people's self-confidence, boost their ego, and help them out. So it's, it's a positive thing. So we're showing, you know, cheerleaders kicking butt, fighting crime, bringing down the bad guys, saving the day. Is there anything that we need to be worried about here, uh, here at the convention? Are we all safe, Indy? You know, I don't want to ruin anyone's fun. I think everyone's safe. Everyone's gonna, everyone should have a good time. Uh, I'll definitely be making sure of that later. Okay, very, very, very cool. Hey, thanks for giving us some time. Is there anything else you want to say to the world uh, now that you have just these fat last few seconds? Um, stay classy. So are you, are you here to deliver justice or are you here just to have a good time? I think a little bit of both. Fantastic. Um, so is there anything, Phantom, that you want to share with everybody out there about your feelings about the convention? That it's a lot of fun. If you haven't been here, come on down. It's, it's fantastic. Very, very cool. How do you feel about being a crime-fighting super kick-butt cheerleader? Being a crime-fighting cheerleader is an incredible experience. I've learned a lot, and it's really great as an actress to be exposed to people such as yourselves and to be working with a director such as Tom. It's really fun to see myself on screen, and it's really fun to work stage combat and other parts of it. So I have a lot of fun. So introduce yourself. My name is Jessica Bowles. Fantastic. And what character are you portraying today? Mystique from the comics. So Mystique from the comics. So there's a difference between Mystique from the comics and Mystique in the films? Well, 
Can you see the, <laughs> the way that I'm dressed? I mean, she's not dressed, and the comic version is. So the other one is, is naked. Oh, that's... Hmm. Yeah, well, she's got scales all over her body. I think I like this mystique better. I think one thing that's different, though, that I've noticed, and I, I you just barely see it, what is that on your forehead? It's a skull, a silver skull. Let's see there. Oh, oh, oh. And what does the silver skull represent? I don't know exactly. I just know it's part of her costume, the same with the belt. Do you ever have any trouble when you're in the jungle trying to hide in the trees when you're dressed in purple? Not as hard as you think. It works out for you? Yeah, it actually works. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Cool. Where did you shoot this film? Spirit Squad, uh, the trailer we shot entirely in Ogden, and the film will be shot entirely in Ogden, Utah. If you watch the trailer, you'll see that uh, the girls are Ogden High School cheerleaders. Ogden High was kind enough to let us use their uh, mascot van. I, want, I wanted like an A-Team 80s uh, GMC van that was black and orange. Ogden High just happened to have that right there. So <laughs> that's in the trailer. I mean, there's a lot of things coming out in the movie that are not in the trailer. So you'll see them loading this missile on the top of the trailer. They use a missile to blow up the bad guy's drug warehouse and all kinds of exciting things. <laughs> is Mystique a good guy or a bad guy? She is a misunderstood bad guy. Kind, kind of an anti-hero? Uh, sometimes when she wants to be. So as you've been walking around as a big, blue, beautiful anti-hero, how have people responded to you? Uh, I can't walk more than five steps without somebody asking for my picture. <laughs> Hey folks, here we are at the Salt Lake City Comic Book Convention, and I'm here to... <coughs> Gonna vom! Give me a moment. So, uh, hey, introduce yourself. I'm Zach. Hi, Zach. Um, and you are? Chelsea. So, the girls are going to be fighting somebody. Can you, can you give us any kind of hint as to who the bad guys are or what they'll be fighting? Absolutely. The crime lord of the city is called Big Daddy Cash, but what Big Daddy Cash does is he creates a team of evil cheerleaders called the Vicious Vixens. There's nothing worse than a vicious cheerleader. Well, fantastic. So is it a lot of fun? Yes, this is my hobby. This is what I do. So um, how, long it, how long did it take to put on your makeup this morning? About an hour. Is that, is that uh, an, an addition to your routine? Are you a little bit quicker, usually, when you don't have to cover yourself with blue? I don't wear makeup, usually. Well, fantastic. You're all, all natural. Uh, is, there, is there any costume that you've seen today that, you've, that you thought was strange or that shocked you? Some of the ones that I can't really tell what they're from, and they're really skimpy. <laughs> Those are the only ones that have shocked me. Did your kids... I have a hard time getting to the convention today. Did you get in a little bit of an accident or something? Well, coming up, there were a little bit of tunnels that were blocked off, so. Some tunnels that were blocked off. Uh, so tell me, tell me a little bit about what your character is. I got bit by him. And you? I bit her. Bit her, okay. So uh, how has been the response to a your face since you've been here at the convention people running people are running <laughs> any last words we have a lot of fun and uh we have a really great time and i feel like our viewers will too so it's going to be a great experience and it's it's going to be a lot of fun so definitely join us on this journey well thank you so much and good luck with making your film thank you thanks a have you have you come across any geeky fanboys Yes, most of them are too shy to talk to me. <laughs> All right, do you have anything else you want to say to the world before we, uh, we finish up here? If you go to Comic-Con, you have to dress up. It's the rules. You're not cool unless you dress up. <laughs> well, fantastic. Thank you so much, Mystique. You're welcome. Well, you both look so lovely. Is, is there anything that you want to share to the world about uh, your experience here at Comic-Con? It's been a blast. There's so much fun things to do and see, and there's some crazy costumes. Okay, anything you want to say to uh, any of your friends in school? They're all dead. They're all dead. Well, this is awkward. I think I'm done. Hey, thanks a lot, Blaine, for uh, getting those comic books for me, because I'm clueless completely. 
Alrighty, I'm here with Craig Nibel. Craig, can you tell me what you're doing down here at Comic-Con? I'm an author and a musician, and I'm here at Comic-Con because I love it, and I'm on several panels, so it's just a great opportunity. So, how do you find time to be an author, a musician, a regular job, and be on panels? Where do you get all the time? I, I, can't, I can't help being those things. <laughs> I, I get up early. I get I say, up early. If you're anything like me, you got to stay busy. You get yourself in yeah. a lot of trouble, right? That is true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I get you guys' names? Uh, Alex. Anthony. Christian. Yeah. Jericho? You, you don't have a name? No. How about you? Malachi. I, can, I, I hope you heard that because I can barely hear them. So, is there a spokesperson? What, what inspired the uh, costumes? It's a video game. I thought it was Monty Python. No, it's a video game. It's called Castle Crashers. Alrighty, I'm here with... Kevin. And Kevin, can you tell me a little bit about what you guys got going on down here? Yeah, we're a reseller for 3D printers um, with Stratasys and Object, and we also sell SolidWorks. So a lot of stuff that we have here today is uh, things that we printed off of our 3D printers. A lot of engineering companies use them to make prototypes, but we've had a lot of artists even make things like this. And that's all printed on the, on the printer? Yes. So can you tell me a little bit about books you've written or? Sure, yeah. Uh, I brought a couple. Is it okay if I show? Please do. All right. Well, this is my latest one. It's called Small Town Monsters. It's rednecks, guns, beer, and werewolves. Maybe like, you better read that one. Yeah, it's like deer season, right? Only with teeth. <laughs> so that one just came out. And I got this one too, Allied Zombies for Peace. Zombies versus the KKK. <laughs> Whole book takes place in 42 minutes. You can't even read it in real time. <laughs> it, it took you longer than 42 minutes I would write, to write it, I would yeah, assume. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you seen the Monty Python movies? Yeah, yeah, no, I've seen that too, yeah. Oh, okay, I was like, man, you guys, so now I feel dumb. I've never heard of Castle Crashers. What's, what's that all about? It's like, a, it's an Xbox arcade game. It's like a silly little, you're knights and you're trying to save princesses. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> so why why these why why Castle Run? Why not something else? I don't know, man. Nothing else is cooler than this. <laughs> this is the best right here. Right here, man. Right here. Alrighty, guys. Well, luckily we found the best costumes at Comic Con right here. So thanks for talking with me, guys. I appreciate it. Not a problem. So how does it work? I mean, like, does it does it melt it? Does it? I I have trouble wrapping my head around how that works. No worries. We have a, we had that question asked a lot. So the way it actually works here is we have a filament that gets loaded into the machine right here. When it gets loaded, it's going to go through and get extruded at the very top. That tip is going to heat it up and put it on layer by layer like a glue gun. Uh, the best way to describe the filament, it's kind of like a, the plastic you see at the bottom of a weed whacker. So it's all in the spool. So that spool gets loaded through there. Yeah, I was thinking one day as an author, and we're all kind of sick and twisted in our minds. Yes. But I was thinking, is there any group on the face of the earth worse than zombies? And yeah, there's one. <laughs> so, <laughs> how, how do you... Because I think I've got really great ideas because honestly, I tried to write something once. I thought, man, this can't be too hard. I mean, Craig doesn't. So I thought, I'm going to do this and it's impossible. How do you come up with all these things? Uh, you know, uh, I always say in all seriousness, creativity begets creativity. So all you have to do is come up with ideas and work on those ideas. And the ideas will just keep flooding in and in and in. And you won't be able to stop them. That and I try to do it at work, and they get yeah. mad. If you don't do work at work, they get all pissy <laughs> yeah, with they, you. I, don't I, know, I don't get it either. I don't, I've never understood that. <laughs> all right, Greg, well, hey, I appreciate you talking to me. Thank right, you, thanks, man. Well, you Good take to see care, you. man. All right, I'm here with... Jeanette. And Tate. Hey, can you guys tell me a little bit about what you're doing down here? Yeah, um, we are here from This Is The Place Heritage Park, and we're promoting our newest event for the season. It's our Witch's Ball. It's just going to be a fun, fantastic night full of a Halloween costume party. So are you just doing that for, for Halloween or are you doing it, what is it? So um, the date for the ball is on October 10th. And since, since it's a new event this year, we're trying to get the word out about it now and get the get building the excitement for it. Does it, does it smell when it's? Uh, no, the nice thing is that these are all enclosed chambers. So everything's ventilated. So there's no smell at all. I know like some of the cheaper consumer uh, printers, um, they make it out of a plastic called PLA and it smells a little sweet, but the difference here is that this is engineering thermoplastic uh, versus PLA. It's a great, it's great for starters, but we've had some companies that start out they need something stronger with higher precision. So, so right now you use plastic. I mean, what what other materials can they print with just plastic as of now? Well, the nice thing is Stratasys really uh, aims to make their R&D better by introducing new plastics. So, for example, this here is polycarbonate. 
but last a uh, couple months ago they introduced nylon. We've been able to make uh, Ultim, and that's actually a material that uh, NASA used for the Mars rover. So. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you for talking with me. For sure. Thank you so much. All right. This is Holly Love with AM Utah. I am on crowd surfing. I'm so excited to be here because you're usually on AM Utah. I, I, you know what? I didn't know I was on AM Utah. You didn't even know. I, I don't know. I'm a huge fan of yours and you don't even know. I, yeah. I didn't know I had a fan, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm it. I'm the fan. Well, that's good to know then. <laughs> I know. All nice right. to see Thank you in you. person. Nice to see you. Let me do that again. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Right on. So it's just a big dance. You guys going to have like haunted attractions or anything like that at all? Or? Yeah. So we've actually been doing for the last 10 years our haunted village. And this year the theme for it again is the revenge of the witches. And so our witches ball is going to be opening on October 10th. And that's going to kick off our haunted village, which is our haunted house. But during the ball, we're going to have um, entertainment, different presentations and activities throughout the whole night for people of all ages to enjoy. All right. I'm here with uh, Dr. Jeff Meldrum. And I think I've talked to you before, but I'm not sure. Were you up at um, the Wolf Mountain here a couple years ago for Dave's Bigfoot show? One of his productions, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I talked to you before. Yeah. So yeah. can you tell me a little bit about what's going on here? Well, this is my first time at, at Comic-Con. I was invited down to, to talk about Sasquatch. Uh, it kind of fits in in some ways with the, the, the notion of uh, uh, strange new life, new worlds, and so forth. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, displaying some of the uh, replica footprint casts from my collection in my laboratory at Idaho State University where I research the uh, evolution of hominid bipedalism and the prospect of another bipedal primate perhaps sharing this continent with us is it's one that has always fascinated me. We're at Comic-Con for Al. What, yes. like, what's, what have you been doing all day? I have been walking around talking to super super people I guess or yeah. wannabe super people. We went and talked to did you see the cosplay costume girls over there? I heard that uh, you had an incident with them and you were no longer allowed in the area. Is that true? That's an alleged incident. There's, luckily Bill had the camera off. Bill? <laughs> yes or no? Was there an incident? My daughters were there. <laughs> Which one? What? It's because of stuff like that why I'm not allowed in, you know, within 200 yards. Most places? Yeah. <laughs> churches or synagogues or you know. wow it just got real and where is this at this is at this is the place heritage park up immigration canyon right kind of across from the zoo yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. right yeah. across yeah. from the uh, hogle zoo i'm trying to think where is that place at and then i remembered it come to me like an epiphany yeah exactly yeah it's right there <laughs> all right you guys we have a website or anything for it or yeah you yeah. know if you go to www.thisistheplace.org, you can find out any information. You can purchase your tickets to the Witches Ball in advance, so it's a great opportunity to do that. And you can get information about our day-to-day -day activities there at This Is The Place. So we love it up there, and we'd love for everyone to come. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. So, and I, I've... <laughs> Because you're a doctor, how am I going to match wits with you? Uh, really? You really believe in this stuff? Come on. No, I don't believe in it. Oh, well, good. Well, then what is this? Well, it's not a question of belief. Belief is the acceptance of something in the absence of evidence. My, my position, my conviction uh, is, uh, is based on the evidence that's before you, uh, examples of which are before you. My expertise is in the functional morphology, the, the way we've adapted to walking on two feet and how that shaped our, our anatomy. So I'm, I'm very well versed in how to evaluate this footprint evidence on, on its own merits. And it's extremely convincing that there's something out there. This thing is nuts. This is my first Comic-Con. Is this yours? No, we came last, I want to say last year, but it wasn't a year ago. It was like six months ago. Uh -huh. And this is actually a lot better. There's more room. There's more people, but... Well, I understand last year they weren't expecting it to be as huge as it was. No, they didn't. As a matter of fact, they had people outside. There was like 2,000 people outside, and they told fire marshals were shutting it down. And uh, I guess they almost had a riot outside, the way Craig made it sound, like people were ready to fist fight over it. Wow. So you were you were here or no? Yeah, I was in here, and it was just, it was belly to back and shoulder to shoulder. You couldn't move in here last time. Well, you didn't dress up, or are you dressed up? No, I'm, I'm, I'm hideous. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Anything that you say will be used against uh, Have you heard those words before? <laughs> Tri Trip Mitchell is reading him his Miranda rights, wondering if he'll jump in and know them uh, by heart. I, I, long enough too much. You ready? All right. I made an assumption earlier. I talked to somebody. I thought they were Moses, and they ended up being Gandalf. Is that his name? Can you, can you tell me who your character is? My character is, of course, Gandalf the Grey. Yeah, see, and I thought it was Moses. No, Moses. No, 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 no. 
So here's a question, and I hope we don't get any hate mail for this question. Who's more powerful, Moses or you? Moses. <laughs> Without a doubt, huh? Without a doubt. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's the question I have, and I ask everybody this. They can send a man to the moon, and they can put a man at the bottom of the ocean, but they can't find a 10-foot-tall hairy creature walking around the forest of Washington. H how is that? H who's looking? <laughs> Everybody, you guys! <laughs> well, you know, it, it takes time and resources and financing in order to sustain um, a, a legitimate uh, um, search. You know, Jane Goodall went down to look at a little group of boisterous, gregarious chimpanzees that lived on the mountainside in, you know, of a small little area of Africa. It was months before she was able to make any visual contact consistently and, and even longer before she could make any meaningful observations. And yet I'm expected to go out on a weekend or in a couple of weeks and identify this creature that's solitary, that's nocturnal, that uh, uh, very generalized in his habits, that's far ranging through a habitat that's many, many, many times larger than what she was dealing with. So. That's a good point. See, I know it couldn't match with you. You're going to find this hard to believe. I have never, ever been in trouble with the law. Ever. Well, one time. Oh. But I was 17, so it don't count. Other than that, I, I, I have a squeaky clean record. You have been painted in a bad way, and you don't deserve it, right? You're absolutely right. Okay, so we're going to do some uh, crowd surfing here. What are, what are we going to ask? What's our big questions of the day to look forward to? Ah, uh, man, I'm not good under pressure, you know? <laughs> You're not? No, I'm really not. Well, That's think of one question. I have a question for you, Holly. Okay, I'm ready. Gambler or non-gambler? You a gambler? No, I hate gambling. You don't you don't do that? Well oh wait, whoa! Oh, oh. Bam! <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing down here and what you've seen? Oh, just having a bunch of fun, meeting people, um, mostly uh, just enjoying all the costumes. They just look great. Besides your costume, what's your favorite one you've seen? The Transformer. All those the couple transformers look so good. They're about 12 feet tall and on buckets. They all made it themselves and they look perfect. <laughs> they really do. All righty, well, hey, I will let you go, get back to doing what you're doing, but I appreciate you taking time to talk to me. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, who so, okay, here's another question I ask a lot of people, because they have like, like so many hunters out like bow hunting and, and game cameras. Do you, you think you'd capture one like on a game camera or something? Well, this animal, if, if it's a large primate, a large hominoid, an ape-like creature, it has got a brain that, that gives it a few more smarts than your average bear. So, you know, as Yogi would say, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it doesn't require supernatural abilities to avoid many hunters. There are a lot of trophy bucks out there that survive every single hunting season, despite all those guys out there with rifles, so. Wow, that just happened. That was for real. Okay, hi, welcome to our Xfinity booth. <laughs> Apparently, I'm Holly Love, and we're here to, to chat with you and your sword. Uh, how long did that take you to build? It took me about 20 hours. 20 hours. Is this your first Comic-Con? Uh, no. Second? This is my first time actually at the Fan X, but uh, normally I've been attending uh, Anime Bonsai. Is that here? I'm, I'm brand new to all this and I've been in LA previously, That's so in, educate uh, me. Also in Utah, up in Layton. Okay. And have you been to the big one like in California? The, it's San Francisco, right? I'm not. Or I've, San Diego? I've not been to those. Okay, so who are you today? What is... What is... A character named Zabuza from the show Naruto. See, now talking to this guy almost makes me want to go out there. Almost, but not quite. All right. It's exciting. I mean, I, I tell people, if you go out looking for Bigfoot, you should enjoy what you're doing. I hate camping. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> find, find another, another question to pursue. All right. Well, hey, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for talking with me. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right, I'm here with someone who needs no introduction. It's Data, correct? That is correct. And can you tell me a little bit, you was analyzing these footprints here. Do you have any idea what this may or may not be? It appears to be an unknown hominoid native to North America. Okay, you're logical, correct? Um, what do you think? Real or not real? I believe it could be real. They've even got data convinced of these mythic creatures running around. The universe is so large that there are infinite possibilities. Yeah, but it's just Earth. It's not the whole universe. That is true. <laughs> However, looking across Earth's history, many life forms have arisen. That's very true. You can't, you can't argue with a, with a logic like that at all. Well, hey, I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. Thank you. So how many hours did it take to like prepare your outfit? I know 20 hours for the sword. Uh, 40 to 60, I don't know. A lot of hours. Wow, I am learning this is like a big deal. I mean, were you planning this like last year or? 
Yeah, last year. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. So who is who would win in a fight? Because I'm, I'm brand new to this whole, whole thing. Batman or Superman? Batman. Captain America or Spider-Man? Captain America. All right, I'm here with Paul Bradford. And can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing down here at Comic-Con? Yeah, I'm actually here as a part of Ghost Hunters International. Um, basically, we're uh, here signing photographs, taking photographs of people, and just generally talking. Lots of talking. So I was going to ask, have you met a lot of people, a whole bunch of people from around? or So many people. And you know what the thing is as well? There's people here so nice. Everybody's really, really nice over here. It's, it's crazy. I did another event just a few weeks ago in uh, Seattle. Everybody's so nice. There's something about the West Coast. Everyone is so nice. We're sweethearts in the West Coast. You guys are great. You really are. Maybe it's some in the water. I don't know. Um, yeah, I want some of that water. <laughs> I want some water. So uh, what are you dressed up like? I'm just, I'm just me. I'm the biggest freak here. Well, I came as Chandler from Friends. You can't tell? <laughs> I don't watch Friends either. <laughs> you know what? So what do you watch for having sex? I, I really don't watch much. Channel 6, Xfinity, I think, is what you watch, right? And on 17. Right, right. Yeah. A little, little on demand. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Mel, I'll tell you what, just standing here watching the freak show go by, it's worth your money just for the freak show. I agree. Oh, and the guy has an adult beverage. I didn't know we could have those here. Well, it looks like we've lost Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> Hold this. <laughs> Um, who's your favorite top three superheroes? Top three superheroes. Gosh, I don't know. Off the top of my head, I can't think of that. No? What about the hotties? Who's your favorite hottie comic book characters? One or two? Oh, you got into one. I even got one. A Wonder Woman. Come on, every time. The Wonder Woman? No, the, the Joker's girlfriend. I can't think of her name, though. Harley Quinn. Yeah, Harley Quinn. Okay. Yeah. That was one. She's you a hottie. You did good. You did good. Yeah. Let's think of some more hotties together. Ivy's hot. Uma Thurman. Ivy is hot, yes. She's a hottie. Ooh, Catwoman when it was Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer's definitely the best Catwoman. Yes, she did. Excellent. See, and I am married, guys. I'm just talking about pretty Hollywood. You can't take it from these girls. They're hot. And you know what? They're hot here at Comic-Con, too. There's a lot of hot girls here. I've seen a few, yes. And some really handsome guys with really big swords. That was for you, Trip. All right. Thanks. So, yeah. if we're the nicest people, where are the... Biggest jerks, people you don't want to deal with. We're not, we're not going to go there. You don't want to talk about that? No, no. I, I, I have a career of talking to people. We're not oh, doing... I understand, yes. Yeah, yeah. So if there's somewhere you didn't want to go, where would that be? Um, <laughs> you guys are killing me here, man. You guys are killing we me. We ask the hard-hitting questions. We you want do, to get to the do, bottom do, of this. You do, but uh, I, I, I'm... Yeah. Nowhere, right? You love everybody. I, you know what? I, there's nowhere I wouldn't go. I bet, you, I bet you 50 bucks if you watch an interview on the East Coast, you'd be like, man, you guys on the East Coast are sweethearts, you're wonderful. I feel like them jerks on the West Coast. Oh, no, everywhere's great. <laughs> I'm just saying you're nice and stuff. Oh, who are you? I just take the compliment then, right? I just take take the compliment. I'm not going to take compliments. That's so good. You're good. You're good. All right, well, thanks. Hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, mate. You. Appreciate it's your time. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. So, so is Shia LaBeouf. Not Shia LaBeouf. Not Shia LaBeouf. So what are you then? I'm just not Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Why aren't you not Shia LaBeouf? Uh, what's the correct response? I believe it's uh, when seagulls follow the trawler, it's because uh, they expect sardines to be thrown to them. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you have it. From the guy that's not Shia LaBeouf. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great time down here. Farrell has done an awesome job. I think he's kind of playing the Clark Kent character, and he'll pull out of the Superman later. But come on down. What a great, fun place to be. The freak show is amazing.